University has an institutional repository, or IR, called Digital Commons at Lindenwood University. To access it, click on the Research Resources link from the library homepage. From here, you can either click on the link to Digital Commons at Lindenwood University to go to the main page, or search for something that you are interested in. I'm going to click the link for today. The site has content broken down into five main areas. Research, scholarship, and resources, where student and faculty academic papers, presentations, and poster exhibits are located. Innovation space, where creative things like podcast, artwork, music, and student films have a home. Journals, where LU's academic and creative publications are housed. Archival collections, where historic documents, pictures, and other content are stored. Theses and dissertations, where graduate student papers can be seen. Examples of student papers can be found by going to Research, Scholarship, and Resources, and then to Student Scholarship. On the left-hand column, there is a search box that enables the user to search for specific topics, titles of articles, or by author. I'm going to search for a publication by Anna Schnellman. She has two works that I can view. After looking at the information about the paper, I could download it or try another search if this wasn't quite what I was after. If you're curious about other materials that are in the IR, you can browse by discipline. This allows you to see a quick snapshot of what is currently available in the IR for the different areas. For instance, if you are interested in seeing more about education, you can click on the subdisciplines just to see what might be out there. If you are looking for an author, a list of authors with links to their articles can be found using the author's link, or you can always search as I did with Anna. The browse is great if you remember the last name, but aren't sure what the first name of the author might be. The Digital Commons at Lindenwood University is a relatively new project. So if you run into trouble or have any questions about using it, please contact the library.